from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for June 26, 2017. I hope you had a great weekend and are ready to get started trading this week. In today's video, I'm going to do a general overview of each of the U.S. currency pairs in anticipation of this week's trading. And I'm going to highlight some of the key levels that we will be looking for entry and exit opportunities. And as always, be sure to use appropriate risk management strategies in all trade setups. Let's get started here with the USD CHF, the dollar franc. Over the past several weeks, we have seen this currency pair in a downtrend. That's highlighted by the blue trend line. And even in the most recent days, we've seen the market falling in somewhat of a falling pattern here along the black trend line and the red trend line falling down in a channel. But what I'm starting to recognize here is the potential indications of reversal, the potential opportunities for reversal here from the downtrend, the blue trend line to go back higher. One thing that stands out here is that channel between the black and the red trend line creating somewhat of the shoulder level of a head and shoulders pattern, the head being down here at the black box. So if this really materializes as an inverse head and shoulders pattern. We look for the, the left hand side to be support. We look for the middle to be support and we look for the right to find support around the blue or maybe the yellow zone. Breaking the green zone, we start to look for further reversal. Another clue to that is the rising lows. Remember a downtrend has lower highs and lower lows and uptrend has higher lows and higher highs. And we've started to see now a new higher low from the pink zone to the blue zone. So I'm continuing to watch that as a potential opportunity for reversal. Last week we were looking for the market to find support at the yellow zone. It dipped all the way to the blue zone and now we see it rallying right back into the 9730 level. So still the hope there is for some potential support and reversal. And all of that will change likely if it breaks down through the blue shaded area and the 966075 level. So watching this yellow zone still 9730 9705 as support targeting back to the green zone 9800 and anything above 9800 i think we look for further reversal for the usd chf moving over to the euro it's a similar situation but i don't think we have the the neat setup with the head and shoulders like we do see over there on the dollar franc but i think there are some clues and evidence here as well for potential reversal first off the uptrend line the black trend line we're now underneath there and we have been most of last week, we were underneath that black trend line. Let's go ahead and zoom it in here so you can see that. Look at this. One, two, three, four, and now the fifth day opening up underneath that black trend line. That could be our first clue to reversal. A second opportunity for reversal is the fact that it may not be as neat and as clear and as pretty as the uh, dollar franc, but take a look at that blue trend line. We see some falling pattern here. What it's going to take is, of course, a breakdown of the green shaded area, and we'll look for further reversal. Last week, we even started going short into the pink shaded area, looking for opportunities for this to continue to go down. So I still think that underneath 112 becomes an opportunity for this to go short, target the green zone first as your first target for support. But anything beyond that and a break of these last two support lows here, I think we look for much further lower for the euro dollar. So still looking for those shorts underneath 112 will be the main focus. And the risk there is that the market changes its mind, breaks the pink zone back above 112 and starts to challenge the highest highs in the trend for the euro dollar this week. Moving over to the GBP USD, it's again a very falling pattern here, a, a more of a bearish than a bullish pattern. We've seen multiple times now where the markets made attempts to rally and still made lower highs. Let me zoom in here one more time. And you can see the blue box up here, the, the rally. It took a, a pretty strong move right here inside that blue box. Let me change that line to red so you can see exactly what I'm looking at here. So it took that rally inside that blue box back to the green zone, found resistance and a fall. And then it took another rally right here uh, inside this lower blue box, took a rally from the blue to the orange zone and then a fall. And now it's an attempt to make another rally again. This is the third incarnation of that rally. The question is, are we going to see another fall? Will it find resistance at the green zone? Will it find resistance at the orange zone? Both of those will be main areas to focus in on for the early part of the week and anything underneath the blue shaded area likely continues to fall back down into the mid 1.25s anything and really the break of this pattern will only be 
the push above the orange zone. If it breaks above 128, the orange shaded area, this pattern will likely be invalidated. But I think it's very interesting. The rise, the fall, the rise, the fall, the rise. The question is, what are we going to see? When are we going to see the next phase for the fall for the GBP USD? Could be this week. Moving over to the USD CAD, we've been kind of constrained in a pretty volatile zone down here at the bottom of the downtrend, the red trend line, the downtrend, this black box down here. And look at the pattern here. The blue box at the top of the red trend line, congestion, breakout. And then it went into this middle box, the black box between the yellow and the green zone, congestion, breakout. Now here we are again between the orange and the yellow and the green zone. Of course, we have several influencing factors here for the dollar CAD that we always talk about. First off, oil prices, whichever way oil tends to go, uh, we tend to see the opposite direction here for the dollar CAD. And of course, we had some significant news last week out of Canada. So we're continuing to watch this. What I would def definitely say that is the green zone, bottom of the black box, 1.3210, 32.30. It's a difficult place to go short and sell. Very difficult place. Well, that's where we are right now. But I still can't say that this is a good opportunity to go short because look at the black circle back here. That was support and reversal. Now we see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days challenging this green zone, unable to break it and go lower. So going short right now on top of that green zone just doesn't give me any confidence to go short right here. If you're going to go short, obviously the better places within the past couple of weeks have been either the yellow zone or the orange zone all the way up here into the 1.3400. So uh, don't go short right now on top of the green zone. Really, the only times to go short would be a rally to the yellow, the orange, or the one last time to, to go short would be the breakdown underneath the green zone, 1.3200. Then that would give you some confidence to go short. Otherwise, continue to watch for a potential reversal indicators here. Uh, just like some of the other pairs, you know, we have a, a pretty pretty strong rising low pattern here along the red trend line at the very bottom of the chart, the rising red trend line. Pretty strong rising low pattern. So if anything today, if you're looking for a short, don't do it now until it breaks the green zone. But if it stays above the green zone, you may have an opportunity for an intraday buy or bounce here, just like it has been for the past two weeks or so for the dollar CAD. Moving over to the dollar yen, we can see a familiar pattern. We see the falling blue trend line, the falling trend, the break above it, and it's starting to make higher lows. Again, very similar to maybe the dollar franc where we see supports between the pink, the orange, and the green shaded area over here on the left, the dip to the low at the purple zone, and now we're still between that green, orange, and pink area. I've highlighted it with a black box so we can really see how this is the same area the market was in. I definitely would say if you're a buyer, if you're looking to go long, it's a difficult place to do it here into the green zone, 111 85, 112. We have the 100 period simple moving average coming into play here right at the green zone. We have our last resistance high highlighted by the blue circle over here. So it's a difficult place to go long into that barrier because so far it's been unable. Once it got underneath it, 111.85, 112, it has so far been unable to break back above it, even though it's attempted to. So if you're looking to go long, obviously the better places to do that are the orange zone or the pink zone. At least it provides you some lower risk and higher potential reward. Your potential reward right now would be capped at the green shaded area as it has been for the past few weeks. Now, if you're looking to go short for whatever reason, this may be become that opportunity as close as possible, 112, to give you the lowest risk and highest potential reward. The next time to go long, of course, would be the break above 112 and the green shaded area. And all of this would be invalidated on a push through the pink zone, 110.65, getting back underneath there, we already know a good chance of it continuing to fall back down for the dollar yen. Moving over to the AUD USD, interesting pattern here as well. You see the the red, black, and then the blue trend lines. Uh, the trend's go, been going back and forth here for quite some time now. Let's go ahead and zoom it in a couple of times here. I've, we've been looking at this since... Uh, I guess last week we started looking at this pattern between these two red trend lines. Let me pull them out a little bit like this. Between these two red trend lines, you see some of a, a pattern similar to what we saw on the, the euro dollar and the uh, the dollar franc and the dollar yen, where we've seen the market somewhat of a, a changing pattern. The, the trend was up, the blue trend line, it broke through. We see a high here in the left side of the red trend lines, a high here. 
a high in the middle, and now we're looking at another high. Could this be creating a head and shoulders reversal pattern again, just like what we've seen on several other pairs? As long as it stays under that purple zone, I would say that's a possibility. We see the red trend line at the top, resistance high, higher high, and now creating that lower high. The risk in that scenario is that it breaks above the purple zone 7600 and starts going out back higher. I would definitely say though buying into support even if you were uh, looking to go long buying under the purple zone is still a difficult proposition. You want to get above 7600 if you're looking to buy it. Possible that if you're a buyer you're looking at the yellow shaded area as your very best opportunity. 100 period simple moving average sits there as well at 75.55 area. So if you're a buyer, you're looking at the yellow zone or above the purple zone. But if you're watching this as I am and you're seeing this pattern developing, maybe it's an opportunity to go short in, the, in between 75, 85, 7600, the purple zone, target the yellow zone, a breakdown of the yellow zone. We'll definitely look for further reversal back into the 7500 uh, or even into the 74s for the Australian dollar. Moving on over to the NZDUSD, not quite the same, but it is an interesting pattern as well. We zoom it out. What I really want to show you is that blue trend line right there. The two black circles showing that falling blue trend line at the top. Let's see, zoom it out one more time. You can see how significant that is, how the market is capped three times now at that blue trend line. And this is a multi-year pattern. We're looking back to 2015. So blue trend line, very important for our trade setup this week. Zoom it way in. Now you can see how the market's been one, two, three times challenging it, even inside the blue box on the right-hand side. So as long as it's under that orange zone, that blue trend line, I would say buying this is a very difficult opportunity more likely you would be looking to go short as close as possible to 7300 zoom it in a couple of times here again you can see what's been happening over the past couple of weeks supported the green zone resistance clearly one two three four times now at the orange shaded area 7300 7285 is that orange zone my expectation as long as it's underneath there i'm only looking to go short the only reason to go long would be that it dips way lower at least to the green zone if not lower or breaks above the green shaded area for the New Zealand dollar this week. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.